No, Frankie. We lost you to that war long enough the last time. There is no way that you can go back to Iraq. Mom. Now, I heard you talking to Jake. You cannot have made the decision to go back there. It's done. It's not done. Now, look, we need more time, and we can fix this. When the orders come down, you report to duty, period. There's nothing to fix. After the war, I'll be home again. The last time you came back, you ended up in the woods, away from everyone who loves you. Hey, what's going on? What's Frankie's going, on? going back to Iraq. Offered they to go back? They reactivated him. The army wants him, and just like that, they take him, and Frankie won't even fight it. I got my redeployment papers. We all knew it could happen. We who? I didn't know. Did you know? Well, of course I knew it could happen, but Frankie, the papers, what? It's a done deal? Dad, it's no... a war. A war. And I'm a soldier. You're a doctor. I'm both. Hey, look, this is not the place for this. Can we go somewhere? I have a cardiac arrest to check on. Look, don't you just... Wait. Uh, don't... Walk away. <sighs> Maybe we're going to lose him. Okay, all right, calm down. Now, these papers, they came in... They came out of the blue. You belong to us again. Even though he was a hero. Even though they discharged him, it's not right. Well, so what? He, he ships out tonight? Tomorrow? Next week? What? No. They give him time to get his affairs in order. Like sell his car. Draw up a will. Okay, let's not go there. It's reality. Right. Look, baby. Come here. Come here. I know this is really hard with Cassandra gone, but it's not like he's leaving tonight, okay? Besides, come on, you gotta give the boy a little credit for his sense of duty. You don't get to talk me down, and you don't get to lecture me on duty. I didn't sign up for service, but I watched the news. I sent care packages. I died every time the newspaper listed the dead and wounded. And I waited for that visit from soldiers in dress uniform. They didn't come, did they? No, our boy came home instead. What if he doesn't make it back this time? What then? <sighs> this is not our decision to make, babe. <laughs> You, you did this to him. You went back to the force, and now he's going back to the war. You put it in him. You put it in him. You did. Hey, 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 easy. What you, you going for your piece? You're such an idiot. You gonna shoot me? You would bust in on me like that? Ah, you need to be resting your foot anyway. I'm a fast healer. All soldier, right? Stamina, resilience? Yeah. Well, if you keep pushing it, you're going to do more damage. You look like crap. I just got my redeployment orders. You lucky bastard! Ugh. Oh! And could you put in for a unit out by the campus? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be there later. All right, thanks. Dr. Hubbard? Chief Hubbard. You mind if I steal the doctor for a second? Let me know about that consult. You waited. Well, my wife was upset. Wanted to make sure she was okay. See if she might need a strong shoulder to lean on. I hated Jesse. The thought of him there. That life, you know, the day in and day out. The danger. I know, I know, I know. How is it that I am so afraid and you're so calm? He gets it from me? I didn't mean that. Yeah, you did. But you know what? It's the truth. Come on, baby. He's a soldier. When the orders come in, you got to comply. That's just the way it works. I'm just... Just sorry I wasn't there for you when the papers came. You know, those papers crashed in like a ton of bricks. And he's going. Our son is going to just pack his gear and... Oh, God. Where were you? I, I called you at the station when the papers came in. I thought you were supposed to be there. Yes, yeah, me. Yeah, you're right. We have to meet. Angela, there are things. Other things I haven't told you. Well, tell me now. So where are they going to send you? Don't tell me you got the same Slow unit. Down, damn. You are so... I don't know. I just got my papers, and I had to peel my mom off the ceiling. All right, you can't sweat that. You know civilians don't understand. It's all right. And my dad, he's just 
amongst the living again. What, I, I tell him, see you later, Pop? See you when I see you? Oh, your dad is cool. He's a cop. He gets it. He'll have your back here. And I should have your back there. Listen to me, Hub. You have to go to my doc. You got to get him to sign off on me. I could deploy with you. Right here. It'd be perfect. Migraine, right here. I know what you're thinking. Listen, I, I know, I know. You thought you'd do one tour and it would be over. It doesn't always work. I okay. did my time. Stop making it sound like prison. I hate it's that. It's tour, whatever. I done it. It's, 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 it's done, okay? I have a life here. And I can't talk to anyone about it because all they want to do is fix it for me. So you came to me because you knew I would kick you in the ass and say, get on that plane! I came to you because you're the only one who was there with me. I'm done, you know? Inside, I'm done. I, no more guns, no more killing, no more heat, no more dust, no more seeing our guys, our guys, come back with no arms, no legs, no lower intestines. I'm done. I don't want to go back to war. Tell them I'll be in later. So you were ready to tell me something. Where were you when I called? Uh, when I was gone, in the hospital. When you had yourself committed? I would see doctors and nurses in their white, and I would imagine you. Hey, baby, listen. You don't have to tell the world about your breakdown. You survived all those years. You got yourself help. Sweetheart, I, I ache for you, but I am proud of you, too. Proud that you hung on. And I thank God for those doctors and nurses, for anyone who kept you in one piece for the last 20 years. They kept you strong so you could come back to us. After I told you about that time, um, I didn't go to the station like I said I would. If you need me to help you deal with the memories, I want to. But if you need time, take it. Take it and then come back to me. Stop it. Don't. Just, Don't just stop. Don't what? Tell you that this is the job? That this is why God blessed you with brains and power and common sense so you could be over there saving your brother's lives. My discharge papers said I was done. What about the guys that are still there? They don't deserve to have you with them? Let me tell you something. This is the job. They give us orders and we follow them. They tell us, you're going, and we say, yes, sir. Why don't you just suck it up and acknowledge that you have the honor of serving your country? Honor? It's an honor fulfilled. I serve my country. Well, now you have the privilege of doing it again. You just make sure you stay off that foot. Gosh, I was so angry. Well, you get angry when you're scared. It's what you do. Frankie knows that, and he knows that you love him. I am. I'm so scared, sweetie. Jesse, I just wanted, I just want to shout to the army, to the president, leave my son alone. Look, if he goes, all right? If he goes, if he goes, I'll be there with you. All right, this time I'll be there with you. We'll, we'll watch the news like hawks. We'll email him, send packages. We'll, I don't know, write a big welcome home sign when, when it's all over. When he comes home. When he comes home, I'll be there with you. <laughs> 